So can you make money from your mobile phone in 2022? The answer is yes, absolutely. There are apps and websites that you can use while you're sitting watching the TV, on the bus, whatever it is you're doing, or putting a bit more concerted effort, actually focusing on your phone, on those apps that will make you some money. Some of them are gonna pay more than others. Some of them are gonna take longer than others. And some of them, frankly, I think aren't worth it because they don't pay very much at all. Even if they don't take very long, cumulatively, the amount you're gonna get per hour, if you worked out exactly how long it's much you would earn every hour, it's not gonna be much at all. Also, some of these will have a kind of welcome referral code or welcome code you can use to get a little bit of bonus when you sign up. Now, I will link to those below. So if you like the idea of any of the apps that I mentioned, make sure you do, do check the description below and see if you can get yourself a three one pound there or a fiver over here, whatever it is, for giving that app a try. Right, let's have a look first of all at survey apps. Now, there are a number of these. I've got a couple here on my phone, Viper, Street Bees, one called Curious Cat as well. These are the ones which some friends of mine who use them on a regular basis tend to like, tend to recommend, tend to use. Personally though, when I've given them a go, I've never been a massive fan. These are probably the ultimate ones where I think about you put a lot of effort in over time to actually generate any decent amount of money. Although on an individual basis, they don't take much time at all. Could be 30 seconds, a minute, whatever it is, you don't get much for it. And also you've got to bear in mind with all of these, they will have a minimum payout level. Some of them that's lower than others, but others you might have to earn five pounds or 10 pounds before you can even claim that cash out or maybe claim that voucher out, whichever way it works. That can require a lot of time to get to those levels. So again, I personally think this is bottom of the list, but you wanna put them on your phone, give them a go. So Viper Street Bees and also Curious Cat, they're the ones that uh, have been recommended to me as decent to try. But again, they're not the ones I think it's worth putting the effort into. Now this third one I've got here is called user testing. This one I think actually might be worth downloading and giving a bit of time to. This is different to the others. Rather than just filling in some random questions, random surveys and getting screened out of them so then you get cut out and don't get paid anything. This is, as the name suggests, you're going on to someone's website or someone's app and you are giving your feedback in real time. Often you need to have a microphone set up if you use a computer or you use your phone. Maybe there is screen recording what's going on. Maybe sometimes they wanna see you with a camera and see what you're doing as you're going through the website. There are more of these on a desktop than there are on a phone, but even so, you can do them both times and potentially, as long as you get accepted onto it, as long as you find the ones you're able to do, you'll get $10 for 20 minutes. Sometimes it might even pay more than that, but roughly what you're looking at, $10 for 20 minutes work. Now that obviously, exchange rates can vary, but let's say you're getting six or seven quid. Let's say you manage to do three of these or an hour's worth of work. Then you are looking at around 19, 20 pounds hour, more than double the minimum wage, more than double that the national living wage. So that means it's gonna earn you more money, okay, for a start. So that's why I was definitely put 20 minutes in on this rather than 20 lots of one minute on one of the other survey apps. Now I've not used it myself yet. I've registered for it, but it takes 48 hours for that approval to come through that they're happy to give you, check you know what you're doing, you're able to do it. But I know people have used it and they thoroughly recommend it and they say this is a great way to earn, again, not life-changing sums of money, but decent amount of money, as long as the surveys are available for you to do. Those user testing things are listed. And that's the problem you'll find with a lot of these things. There's no guarantee there'll be anything there for you to take up, but if you're doing this just as a little bit extra, it's well worth giving that a try. Now, the next one I want to talk about here are the cashback apps. Now, I love cashback. This is one of my favorite ways to make some money and the apps make it even easier. Top ones, if you're not already familiar with this, Quidco and Top Cashback. They are my top two cashback sites. I've got a whole video taking you through all the different ones, how they work, how they earn money from them. So check that out if you're new to cashback. But certainly I would look at getting these two on your phone. The rates can vary between them. One day on a certain product, Top Cashback might give you the highest percent back. The next day, Quidco might give you the best rate. So it's really, really hard to know which ones have, which is why I use both of them. Again, these both have pretty hefty introductory offers. £10 at the time of recording for Top Cashback, £17 for Quidco. Again, the links for that will be below the video. So if you've never used it before, sign up, spend at least £10 with a retailer that's in them. So that could be anything from ASOS to Adidas, you know, Marks and Spencers through to, I don't know, whoever. Like basically Virgin Media, whatever. There's loads, loads, loads of different retailers on there, thousands and thousands. Well worth doing it. Now, I tend to do most of my online shopping from a desktop, so I use the desktop sites. But appreciate it. I've included them in this video because a lot of you will be doing it on your phone via the apps. So make sure you click through. The big thing with cashback sites, though, really important, make sure you read the terms and conditions of the offer because it might be there are certain products that are excluded. It might be that VAT is, is excluded. So make sure you know exactly what you're doing. It might also be, and it's rare and rarer now, but it might also be that sometimes it has to be via the desktop. Maybe it won't work 
on the app. So just make sure you read all that. But these ones are going to earn you a lot of money because this is your normal shopping you're doing. It's just an extra click into the app, into the app extra sort of search for the product and then click through to the website. You're literally taking an extra 30 seconds whenever you're shopping online and you earn some money back. And I think easily, if you do a normal amount of shopping, on average person in the UK, what they'll do, you could be easily making 100 quid in a year, which is well, well worth taking advantage of. And again, there's no extra time to what you would normally do. Now, the third one I've got here is something called Airtime Rewards. This one works slightly differently. This is app only. You can only do it on your phone and it is restricted to mainly the main mobile network. So sadly, if you're on, one of the smaller ones, you won't be able to take part, but I've got a whole review over on the blog, which takes you through how it works and which networks are involved in it. But definitely if you're on the big guys, EE, O2, 3, Vodafone, GIFGAF, maybe one or two others, you will be able to use it. And the way this works is you connect your Visa and MasterCard debit and credit cards to the app. And if you then use those cards at one of the participating retailers, you will get extra cash back on top. So you can actually use this in conjunction with Quidco and Top Cashback. So you click through on those ones, but when you go to pay, you use a connected card. So let's have a look here at some of the retailers we've got. So Asda, if you shop at Asda with a connected card, you can get 2% back every time you shop. Boots is on there as well. At Boots, 10% back. That's massive, that's fantastic. Remember, this is on top of other cash back you might be able to get. The other good thing about Airtime Rewards as well, it's online as well as in store. But there are so many different retailers on here. It changes all the time. So have a look here in entertainment. What pops up here? Curry's, Argos, 365 Games. So a few ones you might have heard of. Groupon, London Theatre Direct. So many things. Look at beauty. What have we got here? We've already mentioned boots, but it's all beauty. There's the body shop. There's Oral-B. Uh, feel unique. Holland and Barrett. Again, you're going to earn extra cash every time you shop. So well, well worth getting this on your phone. And as long as your mobile network is one of the ones that it works with, you are going to earn extra money. Now, the money you earn with... Uh, Airtime Rewards gets put back to your mobile phone bill. Quidco and Top Cashback, you can take as money or as gift cards, however you choose. This one does go to your mobile phone bill. And obviously you do have to get certain limits before you can apply it. But over time, I think they will add up and there are regular bonuses. So spend £10, we'll give you a bonus £2. You have to enter those codes in, but get those, uh, find look them on social media. I list them on the blog when they come along. That will get you extra cash. And again, there is a welcome bonus worth £1.50 for that. I will link to that one below. Now, similar to this are the receipt apps. Now, there are a couple of different versions here. On the top here, you'll see I've got ShopMeM, Checkout Smart, and Green Gin. These are ones where if you buy specific products from the supermarket, scan the receipt, you will get cash back to a certain level on those products. So it might be buy this cheese, get 50p back. Buy this beer, get two pounds back. Sometimes it's completely free. You get to try all the money back completely. Now, I've got a whole video on these, so I won't go into detail now, but I definitely would recommend downloading them. But the main thing you've got to be wary of here is only use them on products you're going to buy anyway. Don't get tempted. Oh, right, I'll get that because I'm saving 50p. Unless it really is a decent discount, you're going to be spending money rather than making money. So absolutely really important here. Give this a go if you're going to use those different things. Below that, you'll see I've got two more here. I've got Zip Zero and I've got Shopix. These are slightly different receipt apps because these are ones where you upload any of your receipts anytime you want and you will get paid each time you do it, which sounds like a fantastic um, idea. I know a lot of people are excited about uh, Zip Zero as well, which had financial difficulties, but now end of 2021 into 2022, it's back up and running. Now Zip Zero in particular, you earn 0.5% for each receipt you scan. You have to scan it within seven days, um, but you think, oh, 0.5%, that's not bad, is it? If we're talking about credit cards and debit cards earning me less than that, surely this is just as good. Well, yes and no. So there's a five pound minimum payout with a maximum of 50 pounds a month, right? But if 10 pounds of signing up at 0.5% gets you 5p, you need to spend a grand in order to get that fiver. Okay, so a lot of money to spend. And let's say your receipt is worth 25 quid each time. That is 40 receipts that you've got to upload. And that's, if we're saying, let's say it takes a minute to scan a receipt, that's probably takes a bit long, might take a little bit less, but yeah, you've got to get your phone, you've got a receipt, make sure it's flat, take the photo, upload it. Sometimes you've got to do it again. Sometimes you've got to straighten it out and stuff. Let's say it's going to take you an hour. That's probably pushing it. Maybe you could get through that in half an hour. Still looking, I think, at you know, a lot of money and a lot of receipts. I think it's a borderline one. Certainly worth giving it a go. If you don't mind, you've got receipts, you're regularly buying them, then take a receipt and see how it goes. Take a picture. But again, thousand pounds before you can get that first fiver. The other one, Shopix works in a very similar way. 
This one gives you 30 tokens per receipt. Now, 25 of those are just whatever your receipt is. If you do it on the day of purchase, you get an extra five bonus uh, points. Now, there are other ways to get points, such as little bonus offers and surveys and stuff. But let's assume you are putting in the maximum 30 receipts a week. Can't do more than that. 30 receipts a week. Then that will get you 900 points. You need 3,200 points to cash out a fiver, which is 107 receipts, just under 107 receipts. So really, see, the quickest you're going to do this is a month, more or less. Yeah, a month, huge number of purchases, 107 different purchases. Could be a penny each time, could be a lot more. So in that way, it's better than a zip zero. But let's say it's going to take you 90 minutes to do all that for a fiver. That's £3.33 an hour. Let's say you can cut the time in half. You can do it in 45 minutes. Still £6.66. Again, I think this one, like Zip Zero, more effort than it's really actually worth doing. But give them a go. Put them on your phone. You can put the same receipts on both, I imagine. They're not going to check the different companies. So maybe that's a way of seeing which one you like the best. Upload the receipt both times and see what happens. Uh, with ShopPix, the payout is a voucher. Uh, like Amazon or love to shop if you wish. Now the next ones I want to take you through are mystery shopping apps. I think these ones actually could be quite interesting. They could potentially be worth it. Again, maybe a little bit borderline depending on how long it actually takes you. But the idea of these mystery shopping ones, I've got Be My Eye, I've got Field Agent, I've got Roamla, is that you will uh, go into often a supermarket, but it could be any kind of retail. It depends who's listed on there. And you will need to take photos of a display. So it might be, for example, when I was looking at one earlier on, uh, in-store survey, we had a supermarket here, um, Christmas food related gift sets. So you can go in and it would ask you to take the pictures of what's there. Um, and if you do it well, you'll get in this instance, five pounds. Now it says it's gonna take you two hours to do this. I think that's not realistic. I think it'd take you less time. If you're going to that supermarket anyway, so it's not out of your way, you're not spending the travel time to get there. You're there, you activate it, you can find the stuff easily, take the pictures easily, upload them and answer the questions relatively quickly, let's say 30 minutes, 45 minutes, potentially over the scheme of things, if some are really easy and some are a bit harder, I reckon potentially you could get that 10 pounds an hour average out of these, potentially. No guarantee, but you can give it a go. The problems you have with it are, well, they come and go. I looked at this the other day, there were about four offers I could do near me, today there is just one. So depending where you live is how likely you're gonna be accepted to any of these deals. Uh, likewise, you know, if you're in somewhere like London, then maybe there will be dozens and dozens of them that you can take. And also the deals might get slightly more complicated. So yes, taking some photos is one thing, answering some questions relatively easy, but some of them will require you to actually go in and ask questions. So this one here for Carphone Warehouse, it wants you to go in, it wants you to sort of do some mystery shopping, take the pictures as before, um, you know, reply what you, how you find the things. But then it wants you to talk to the store sales staff. So you've got to be confident with that. Basically putting on an act, playing a role, asking them about stuff. This is all going to add time. Now, potentially you might get paid more for this. They might be better payout surveys, better payout market research as a result of that extra effort. But again, I think you've got to sort of play it out and see what happens. Has that same problem. Again, depends really what's there on the day and if you're there already. So they're the two I would definitely have a look at. Be My Eye and Field Agent. There might be welcome bonuses again. If there are, I'll list them in the notes below so you can sign up and get at least a payout in that first instance. Boost your returns a little bit um, and just see how they are. See if you're getting any options near you. Again, if you're living in London or Manchester, you'll get loads more than you live in a sort of village or a small regional town. Um, but again, you have to bear in mind that the time is not just to go to get there, then you've got to fit it all in, take these photos, be comfortable doing that, maybe take a video outside, then answer questions afterwards. And of course, then you might also have um, those extra time elements and the extra kind of something you'll be comfortable with of actually talking to members of staff. Now, the last section to go through are selling apps. And this one, obviously, how much you're going to make from them really depends on what you've got to sell. Now, this first bunch here, uh, I probably could do a whole new video on these separately. I've got a whole article looking at them, which I will link to. But these are the ones where you're looking at DVDs, CDs, books, games, that kind of stuff. Big ones here, Ziffit, We Buy Books, Music Magpie, Zappa, uh, Momox, CEX, obviously you'll know those on the high street as well. Potentially, you could get a decent amount of return for any of these other things you've got, which is just sitting on the shelves, not being used. But also, a lot of the time you get nothing. They reject them, they won't take it at all, or they give you a penny. So really, the when these are gonna work for you, I definitely think they're worth giving a go, and I definitely would get more than one of them, because you're scanning a barcode, the idea you have four apps, just scan a bunch of books and games or whatever it is, then go to the next one and scan them all and they compare which one's going to pay you the most or maybe splitting up the box so 
Some go on that app, some go on that app. But really you're looking for rarities. Uh, old textbooks generally do quite good, special editions. But the normal stuff, the popular stuff, you're not gonna get anything for. But certainly download them and give them a go. The other selling apps, again, very different here. We all know about Facebook and eBay. In fact, Facebook is probably one of the better ones, although fees are coming into play for some sales in 2022. So you've got to be careful with that one. It's not as good as it used to be. You probably know Spock and Depop as well, Depop. Now, one you might not know about is Twig, though. This is relatively new. And the way this one works different to the others is that you get a Visa debit card. So you list your items. Twig themselves will decide whether they're going to buy it. And if they do, they'll give you that money straight away and you've got a debit card which you can use to, to make those purchases. Now, I haven't tried it. I've only just tried to had a look at it right now. I had a look at selling an item. I went into electronics. I typed in uh, what I had here. I've got an old iPhone 5S, which I'm trying to sell. And it's not there. So it's quite limited. Again, going back, looking at shoes. Nothing on shoes right now. Again, it is new. Uh, similarly, you've got um, clothing, you've got bags. Then we just take some photos, put the items in, and it will give you a price. Worth giving it a go, see what comes along. And again, there is currently a five pound offer for joining up on that, which I will link to below. But again, these ones, potentially, if you've got stuff you need to get rid of, you need to clear out, you'll make more money from that, from selling that stuff, than you will from those survey sites. Here are some more videos that you might find interesting. My name is Andy Webb. Thank you so much for watching.